Anyone? Can you hear me? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be feeding the deer right now. We'll see how that goes. They're very excited about their meal time. Okay, let's see. Okay, girl. And I'll be reading the comments right now once um, she finishes eating. This is Padme. Good girl. I think she's done. Do you want some more food, Ahsoka? And Asuka, um, Ahsoka drank like, okay, so Ahsoka drank like half of, of hers and Padme almost drank all of it. So they drink a different amount depending on the time of day. This is their third feeding. So it's usually the one that they drink the least amount. But let me set these down and I'll go through your guys' comments because we're going to also be doing a Q&A as well. You want to say hi to Hank? Hello. <laughs> Wait, you want some vegetables? There you go. Okay. <laughs> okay, hello everyone. Let me go through your comments. Hi, hi Georgia, Chloe, Saul, Sage, Avil. The deer are adorable, thank you. Let's see, what time is it? It's 7.56 here, 7 p.m. It is 9 a.m. in Australia, hello. 
And I live in Texas. Are you considering getting foxes? Uh, there's some foxes that I would not mind having. Would not mind having at all. Um, but uh, I don't think I would get them anytime soon. But I could definitely see myself getting foxes in the future. Uh, they are predator animals, so I would definitely need um, a good setup for them where they're not going to be around my other pets. And. Oh, hello from Vancouver. Hello from Ireland, Canada. Oh, it's really nice to see where you guys are from. Hello from Hong Kong. Hello. I have a question about birds. What's a good type of bird that's a good starter bird? Well, I always tell people that I think the best starter birds for somebody um, or for families is chickens because chickens are really easy to take care of they're uh, very forgiving if you're making mistakes, and um, they can be really friendly. Uh, important thing to understand is that birds is an entire classification of animals the way that mammals are. So like, we're mammals, dogs are mammals, cows are mammals, and birds are just as diverse. So I would say definitely uh, consider what you want from a bird, and then um, think of uh, you know what type, so that you would uh, basically, uh, narrow that list down because you wouldn't necessarily be like what's the best mammal um, How old is Hank? Hello from England um, Hank actually I Think I've said his um, how old he is wrong in some of my videos um, Because I was checking this recently and he's only about seven years old this fall and I think I said he was older in some videos but um, when I was doing this last video, I was trying to find uh, more like photos and stuff of him from when I first got him, and I realized that uh, he's only seven this fall. Uh, how about getting uh, Munchak deer or capybaras? I don't know if I know how to pronounce that correctly, but I do know what they are. Um, those type of deer, maybe um, they're not something high on my list that I've find like interesting or that I want but uh, they are pretty cool um, and capybaras yes those um, are higher up on my list and I do really like those they're still really hard to find I think um, these deer are easier to get than capybaras still but a really cool animal I would definitely like to have Hank you were gonna drop my camera How did you get into owning animals? I have always owned animals and sometimes I'll share pictures over on my Instagram. There's some of um, deer uh, that I had when um, I was super little. My family raised deer and so uh, there's pictures of like me and my brothers with our pet deer. So I've always always had animals. What would be your next animal? Um, I'm not sure like a hundred percent sure. Here's the Soka. <laughs> I'm not a hundred percent sure exactly, you know, for sh this, this thing is so hard to, there we go. Okay. I'm not a hundred percent sure what I would get next. Um, but I would say probably a horse is going to be like my next big goal for uh, what animal I want next and that's also mainly because uh, right now I have a horse that's a yearling and a horse that's 26 years old and so of course my uh, older horse isn't gonna last forever and I don't want my baby horse to be by himself so um, I do want to get him another companion eventually Could you do a pet update video soon? I actually have a video answering that question. It is um, probably from about like six videos back. Check out that video. That is my full answer to that question. Hello from Peru. Man, you guys are all over the world today. That is really cool. How do you, oh, my comments went away. How do you maintain so much knowledge of all kinds of animals? Oh, thank you. Um, 
it's just uh it's just a lot to remember basically and i have a really good memory and it's something i'm really passionate about so it doesn't um really seem that hard to me i just like to do a lot of reading about the animals and um, learn from my experiences, learn from other people's experiences, and just all stays in here. Uh, I love how much your channel has grown. Thank you. I do too. This has been a really exciting journey. Uh, I took a little bit of a break from YouTube, um, mainly uh, with COVID. Uh, we have a clinic that does um, uh, preventative healthcare. And so we do a lot of COVID testing and COVID vaccines. So I took some time off to really focus on that. But um, yeah, I, I uh, really do also like how much the channel has grown. It's, this is so cool and it's such a fun thing to do. How about a wallaby? Yeah, wallabies actually do seem really cool. Um, I, I think I would get wallabies. Um, but I'm not like, I'm not, sorry, <laughs> um, I'm not 100% sure on it. Um, I don't know, they also seem like they are a lot of maintenance, which maybe that's not any different than what I'm used to, but I don't feel knowledgeable enough yet. Okay, I hope you guys can still hear me with that machine. How much money do you spend with all the animals you have? You know, it's really not as much as people would think that I spend. And yeah, a lot of money does go into the animals, but um, I've done some videos where I show you how I prepare meals for the week and stuff and how uh, in one of those videos, I think the most recent one I did, um, I showed you all of these like groceries that I bought for my pets and it was $15. And that was gonna feed them between um, like seven to 14 days for uh, depending on which one it was. But yeah, um, you actually save a lot of money by having fresh food for your animals. And that's what's healthier for them, so that's great. I don't know why these comments keep coming off. Uh, do I still wear a mask? Um, I think it depends on the situation. I do still wear a mask like in public in general. Um, but not so much in small groups where everyone else is vaccinated, if that makes sense. Um, but like going out in public, yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, which animals have the most complex diet? <sighs> That's a good question. Um, I think Hank has one of the most complex diets because um, he has to eat a lot of fresh vegetation, which you can't just like go buy in a store. So that's kind of difficult. And the deer have also um, kind of been on that diet as well. That's why I got all of these, these weeds here. Uh, let's see what's... Why do my comments keep going? Okay, uh, can you make a pigeon care video? Yes, that's actually on my list. It is on my list to do pigeon care. Um, just haven't gotten around to it, but uh, I think later in the fall is probably when I'm going to get to that. Um, thank you, Chelsea. That is a really good compliment. Uh, thinking of owning mandarin ducks. Oh, that is really cool. Um, I've actually been wanting to get Mandarin. Uh, something a little bit difficult um, for me to get in this area for some reason. There's not any breeders close by, so I'm gonna have to have them shipped in, um, which isn't really my preferred way of getting an animal like that, but uh, Mandarin are definitely on my list. I think they're really awesome. Any advice on moving out at 18 and navigating the adult world and caring for animals as well? Oh, I, that is a really big question. That's a deep question. I'm not sure how to answer that. Um, I think it's just you know important to, to get a job that's uh, gonna be stable um, for income. Um, maybe consider having roommates that also like pets. I think that would help. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of one of those things you gotta, jump in head first and learn. 
Um, but yeah, I think uh, just you know making sure that you can afford um, taking care of yourself and your pets. Good girl. Padme's here rubbing herself on my leg. <laughs> Oh, hello, black birds, amazing animals, and fishing. What is your favorite animal? Um, I think my favorite animal, like overall in general, is um, definitely elephants. Uh, they're one of my uh, most favorite. I think those animals are really amazing for their intelligence and just everything about them. Hello. You're cute too. And um, a few other ones would have to be uh, wolves and skunks. Those are animals that I also just really, really like. Um, of animals that I have, um, it's really hard for me to pick favorites because I just like them all. And this is why my hair is always weird. Um, weird links that's like random don't you have a service dog uh, yes I do I have um, two technically uh, Caspian is my retired service dog and uh, Clark is my current working service dog are imprinted birds a good idea or not uh, they can be a really good idea. Um, it does depend on the bird. So parrots um, have to, you know, really be imprinted on people in order to be good companion pets. So if you want a parrot that's going to um, really like spending time with you and interacting with you, they do need to be hand-fed um, from a very early age. Uh, other types of birds that can, uh, it can depend on the situation. Pe uh, peafowl, geese, um, other animals like that, they can become aggressive when they're not taken care of correctly, um, when they're being imprinted. So you can see Ahsoka's craziness. <laughs> um, But, uh, so like peafowl, um, sometimes people want to uh, hand raise uh, pea chicks, but they only want to do it for a couple of weeks. And those animals are actually cared for by their parents um, for about 11 months. And so you really need to be able to dedicate that time to them um, in order for them to mature correctly and not develop um, behavioral problems. Uh, so peacocks usually become aggressive when people hand raise them because they just do it until they're functioning on their own like being able to eat and stuff like that and not needing a heat source anymore um, so they let them go too young um, geese also that's kind of um, similar with that uh, geese become aggressive so yeah it really depends on the bird you can't even see Ahsoka she's just running through so fast what are you doing? What did you do here? Okay. She somehow zoomed this in. Okay, that's better, I think. Do your dogs like your other animals? Oh yeah, definitely. So my dogs are, you know, they're out here. Um, they live with the deer and the tortoise and they get along really, really well. And it's really important to me that my dogs do well with other animals, especially since we rescue exotics and things like that. So that's a must. And people ask me how I manage that. And it starts from the very beginning of what kind of dogs you're picking. So I pick dogs that are compatible with other types of animals. Corgis are really good about that. But you know, if you pick a dog like a Jack Russell Terrier that has an extremely high prey drive, it's going to be harder for you to get them to get along with your other pets. Okay. 
What is my least favorite animal? Um, centipedes are my least favorite animal. I find them to be pretty creepy. Not scary, just not something I'm interested in. Um, animals to like actually own um, primates. I think that primates should not be pets at all. Uh, yes, that is a, uh, this one here had me. What are you doing? What are you chewing on? This is a fallow deer. Um, they do make really good pets. Uh, they're pretty calm. Uh, Padme's a lot calmer than Ahsoka. Ahsoka's a wild little animal. This one right here. There she goes. <laughs> um, and there's a lot of uh, fallow breeders in Texas. Thank you, Elva. How are my alpacas doing? Uh, really, really good. Um, there, let's see, there's, um, I'm hoping we get some more babies this year. We'll see how that goes and hopefully everything goes well and they're healthy. Um, and then I uh, am doing breeding for next year. So hopefully more babies next year as well, but they're all doing really good and the rescues have just improved so much and you can tell they're really happy. So that's good. Um, other suggestions, thinking of owning skunks, ferrets, jaboras. I don't know what that is. Um, skunks and ferrets are kind of similar. Uh, both fairly intelligent. They make good pets. It would be amazing if you made a video about working with prey drive and dogs with multiple species homes. Um, I don't know that that would really be much of a video. It's basically just not recommended. Um, behavior in dogs is genetic and you can't necessarily go against that. There's some circumstances in where it works out, but uh, just really not a good idea to combine those. Um, Jacob, I have a video all about how to feed peafowl. Uh, that's going to be um, in my peafowl playlist. What types of parrots do you see yourself owning in the future? Um, I think I would um, own like rainbow lorikeets, maybe other types of cockatoos, um, maybe small species of cockatoos though, and um, macaws. Those are the ones that I'm more drawn to. still can't get over their name. Such a huge prequels fan. I love it so much. I am a huge prequels fan. Um, those are my favorite of the movies. And Clone Wars is um, like my all time favorite. Like I just, Clone Wars is so, so good. Although I've been watching The Bad Batch and that is amazing. Will I ever do a rabbit care video? I have a couple of rabbit care videos. Do you want to have meerkats? No, not really. Those look like they bite a lot. Do you want to have a pet fox or a raccoon dog? Uh, fox, yes. Raccoon dog, no. Do you like turkeys? Um, I like turkeys in the way that they look, but I don't like keeping them as pets. Uh, I could see myself caving and getting one, but I don't really like um, the idea of getting uh, turkeys because to me they have been so hard in the past to keep alive. They just die very, very easily. So that has made me not want a turkey, but I do like them. I especially like the like silver blue turkeys. I don't, I, I know there's a certain name for them, but that's the color. Uh, when, you're, when your peahen hatches pea chicks, do you separate the peahen and her chicks from the rest of the flock? Yes, um, I have what's called my broody pen. And basically anything with chicks goes into that pen. And I've been really lucky in being able to keep uh, peacocks and guineas and chickens in that pen all together. And they've never had any issues. They get along perfectly. Uh, that's not the case for everybody. Um, but that's what I do with mine. And 
um, they stay in there for the chickens will stay in there for like six to eight weeks um, the pea hens will stay there with their chicks for like eight months um, sometimes a little bit more and um, yeah so it's uh, it's been really successful there any recommendations about getting corgis I do have corgi videos where I talk a lot about that it's just really important to understand you're getting a dog that is very active. What's the animal you really want but you can't get? Um, I don't know. I felt like the deer were kind of that animal for a long time because I've been wanting, um, I think I've been wanting deer since um, we stopped having them when I was ki a kid, but um, I've wanted to get a deer pretty much my whole adult life, <laughs> but it had been really difficult because I did have trouble finding a breeder. Uh, and then once I found a breeder, I did have to be on the waiting list for a while. So to me, that was like that animal for me, but it is getting really dark. So I'm going to have to let you guys go soon. Hank already went to bed. It looks like I don't see him anywhere. So I think he went to bed. And there's the deer. There's Hank's water. Hank's water is, his bowl is like all beat up. Um, Cause the rim of it uh, basically came off from the sun, from exposure. Uh, this was used for the ducks, but th that was perfect for him because since the rim came off, uh, now it'll flatten so that he can actually walk into it. So that's why his water looks so bad, but it works perfectly for him. So he can actually go in there and he can soak and then he can get himself out. And that I have to like change because everybody drinks from it. So, um, but yeah, there are the two deer. That's Bruce over there in the corner. And they'll play out here for a little while more and then they'll go into the house. But it's getting a, a little dark, so I'm like, you guys can barely see me now. Uh, please do lives more. We all love them. Thank you so much. I'm really glad that you liked it. If the chicken hatches the pea chicks, would that change the pea fowl's behavior? Why did that message disappear? That was weird. Um, I didn't get to finish reading that. Silka deer or fallow deer? Um, would it change their behavior? On the, let me answer the peacock one first. Um, no, it's not going to change the pea fowl's behavior. Um, but you, I don't necessarily like to let the chickens raise the uh, pea chicks because they don't take care of them long enough. Hens typically take care of chicks for about eight weeks. Uh, pea fowl need to be taken care of for ten months, ten to eleven months. Oh, the train is coming. Yes, I'll do more videos about raw. And this is a fallow deer and a chital deer. But I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you guys so much for coming to my live stream. Be sure to check out my videos. I am posting once a week um, now. This week was the live stream, so I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, next week we'll do back to regular videos and I'll do more live streams for you guys.